Well, it's time for another market update. Our real estate board has released the numbers for the month of October. We're gonna break them down for you. 2022 has been one of the craziest years since I started selling real estate 16 years ago in Toronto. Before we get started, I'm Stephanie Noss with the Home Publicity Realty Group here at Keller Williams, and I'm passionate about helping our clients build and develop wealth through real estate. If you're interested in tips on buying a home, selling a home, or investing in Toronto real estate, I hope you consider subscribing to our channel. Go ahead and give it a like if you enjoy these type of market update videos so that we can keep making them, and let's get into it. So 2022, we saw a big drop in prices off the peak of the market that was in early springtime. And that steep drop that we've seen downwards has kind of really tapered off probably since around the summertime. And we've been watching the market balance out a little bit more. Prices seem to have stabilized around that million eight to million nine. So we've seen that things have sort of stabled off along with the average monthly mortgage payments. And we definitely saw the interest rate increase have an impact on November as it has the past few months. So we saw 49% less transactions happen on our board from this time last year. So not the price of homes has come down 49%, but the actual number of home sales. I like to specify that because sometimes people hear 49% and they panic a little bit. So there have been significantly less homes selling year over year. We've seen this for the last couple of months, so this is nothing new. And the reason for this is because we are seeing record low new listings coming on the market. So people just aren't listing their home, which makes it harder for people to buy homes. And we've seen the impact in pricing certainly come down about 7.25% off the average home price. And just to be clear, that that is an average of all the prices on all property segments, condo, freehold, detached, all of those. And we have noticed that the higher end segment, stuff like semi-detached and detached homes have been impacted a little bit more by pricing. And if you go back and look at some of our previous market updates, I will link them up here. You'll see that we have talked about how the condo market has outperformed the freehold market for the last little bit. And it's more affordable for people. So it's a little bit easier for people to get into that home type. So we haven't seen the condo prices come down as much, but that is an average. So 7.2% year over year from this time last year, that's how we've seen prices come down. What we're not seeing is huge increases in home inventory. And this pretty much is the fundamental of economics, so supply and demand. If there's less properties on the market and less people buying, we're gonna see prices sort of stabilize. And we are seeing that likely the medium to long-term forecast will show that there is gonna be some demand for Toronto. The GTA specifically, with all the new immigrants coming in, is gonna be an area that'll be highlighted and desirable and we will see with the baby boomers stepping out and into retirement that there'll be job opportunities which will make Toronto attractive as well as new jobs created in the technology sector so we likely will see Toronto continue to be a desirable place to live as well as the GTA and then with the cost of construction being so much higher a lot of the builders have paused some of their pre-construction launches so we're not seeing all this inventory coming in the market which is what will put the downward pressure on pricing so what does this mean for 2022 i wish i had a crystal ball it would be great to know with 100 percent certainty what's going to happen the bank of canada typically doesn't increase interest rates in december so it just shows the level of seriousness this last round on December 7th, it came out. It was also higher than it was expected to be. So I've been speaking with a lot of our industry experts and mortgage advisors. Everyone seems to think that there's gonna be at least one more rate increase coming into 2023. Some say it's gonna be another big one. Some say it's gonna be a small one, maybe 0.25%. We'll have to wait and see the next announcement for interest rates from the Bank of Canada will be on January 25th. So we'll all stay tuned and be watching for that. We will update you. So really, I mean, your guess is as good as mine. We have seen, like for example, I had a listing that I've had for 60 days that we ended up with three offers on last week. And it's one of those things where there are people still looking that have their pre-approval rates locked in and they're gonna be out shopping and wanting to potentially move forward on securing a home. There is a possibility that interest rates will start to come down 
into the end of 2023. So there might be some opportunity now for people who have job security and feel comfortable with the monthly payments. And look, like there's no doubt it's been a tough year so far for home borrowers and home buyers, just anyone who's borrowing in general. And, you know, just hang in there. If you got into the market at the start of the year, you kind of beat out some of the stricter lending criteria and hopefully locked in a fixed rate. If not, then we definitely are able to introduce you to some of our trusted mortgage advisors. If you have some questions about things you can do, if you have a variable, if you should extend your amortization, if you should lock in, put down lump sums or increase your payments if you're coming close to your trigger rate. If that's something that we can help you with, feel free to DM and reach out and maybe you're somebody that needs to get into the market right now or needs to be selling their home because you've been transferred or you have a growing family. There are still some instances where it is just gonna make sense for people to be moving and flowing in the real estate market right now. So if there's anything we can do to help, please feel free to reach out. And if you watched to the end, thank you very much. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions about the Toronto real estate market or you'd like to be introduced to some of our mortgage specialists, feel free to DM all of our contact details will be listed in the description box down below. And if you enjoy this kind of content, go ahead and follow us at Homeplicity Realty on Facebook and Instagram for a lot of content that we don't post here on YouTube. Until next time, happy holidays.